Hello everyone and welcome to a, a new video here on my channel. First of all, I just have to say that I know that my brows are still shaved off so I can come across a little bit terrifying for some people. But we are not going to talk about brows today. Today we are going to talk about the absolute best foundation in the freaking world. I just have to add a little bit of a note and that is that this video is a paid collaboration with The Body Shop, which is the brand. I have a ongoing collaboration with them for the entire year. So by law, every time I like talk about them, it is a ad. So yeah, it is an ad, but they have not made me make this video. They have not said like, you have to say that this is the best foundation in the world. No, <laughs> this is in fact the best foundation in the world. In my opinion, I've loved it for so long and uh, I just wanted to share it with you guys. This is a foundation that I have loved for so, so long. They have had this foundation for like, I don't know when it came out, but I was actually working in store at the body shop when this foundation came out, which I know I've been talking about a lot. I'm sure that you guys are sick of me saying that I have worked in a store. I've not always been a influencer. I was there when it launched and I have been loving the foundation ever since, let's say five plus years at least. But the foundation came in a different formula and I think that they only had eight or 12 shades and they have just brought out 40 shades, which is uh, a big step up. And therefore I just wanted to share this with you guys because now every single one of you guys watching this video can now find a perfect, perfect match. And before I didn't really want to do this video because I mean, there weren't that many shades and therefore it felt weird saying like, this is the best foundation in the world, but you can use it. I will include swatches of every single shade here on screen throughout the video so you guys can see and hopefully find your perfect match. So the foundation that I am talking about is the Fresh Nude Foundation from The Body Shop that I have already talked about a bunch but if I could just use one foundation throughout my entire life it will be this one. So here we have the lightest, lightest and the darkest shade. First of all this is the Fair One Neutral. And then we have the darkest shade and this one is called Rich Q Neutral. So these come in cool toned, neutral and warm toned. We have fair, light, medium, tan, right? Deep, tan and rich. So let's see, we have four of the fair ones, then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of the light shade. Seven of the medium. Eight of the tan shade. Nine of the deep shade. And then we have four of the rich, so the darkest shades. So four of the lightest, four of the uh, darkest, and then we have all of the shades in between. So I'm just gonna zoom you guys in. There you guys can see my skin very clearly, I hope at least. I really want you guys to see skin texture and uh, exactly how it lays on the skin. I'm also going to take some videos uh, with daylight. So is it too light now? Oof. So this is the four fair shades and I am going to swatch them just on my cheek so you guys can see the difference, but I will be including more of the swatches so you guys can exactly see, but I'm gonna show you guys the old one. This is the old packaging and this is the number 12 and number 20 and I have used multiple of these. So the old ones looked like that. It came with a cap and a pump. It had SPF 15 as well before, but I always apply SPF forehand. So I think that a lot of people see the SPF 15 like, oh, then I don't have to use any SPF, but that doesn't make sense. You have to apply SPF and then apply the foundation, even if the foundation has SPF in it. So the new shade doesn't have SPF, which I like. And the new one also come like this with a spatula. Some people might enjoy the pump and I can in some ways, but I really like that they have a spatula because it's easier to clean. It's easier if you want to use it on multiple people. I am not really working as a makeup artist that much anymore, <laughs> but I'm really happy to have that if I get any makeup jobs because I would absolutely love to use this on every single skin tone, every single 
skin type. And yeah, I really, really love the look of the new one. It just looks so cheap. So let's just get to swatching with the fair shades. So first of all, we have fair one neutral. There we have that one. And here we have fair one W warm. Oops. And fair one C, so fair one cool. And then we have fair two warm. So for those of you that are, I mean, very fair, but still needs a little bit more yellow in your foundation. So this is how they look on me. Let me make it a little bit darker there. Maybe you guys can see better. I do have a hard time sometimes finding a good undertone because as you guys can see here, like I am <laughs> very warm right now and therefore I just feel and look, feel? <laughs> I look more pink. Sometimes I look very, very yellow and sometimes I'm a neutral. So this is like a great way for me to find out. But I am going to see because the number 12 in the old one, this one used to be my absolute like perfect shade and that is the light 2n it says so i'm gonna find that here we have light 2n so this one i'm going to swatch right here here is number 12. now looking at these uh the new shade light 2n is like my exact like in the viewfinder i can barely see it right now but the old one is much more a warm tone shade no that's too dark oh my god i'm gonna have swatches like all over me so i think that number 12 is most similar to light one neutral in my opinion this one that is very thin a thin line and then that one I think are the most similar. So from those swatches, I think that I would be a light 2N or 1N the most of the time. Let's see which one I have used. Yeah, that's right. So this is the um, shade that I have in my makeup box and the one that I have been using ever since they launched uh, the new bottle. And this is the light N, so that makes sense. So let's go ahead and go in with light N and let me talk about everything that's amazing about this foundation. Before I do anything, I am gonna go in with SPF. So here is the spatula. You can get out just as much um, coverage as you need with this. Just gonna dot out a very tiny amount and then go in with the Bud Shop's buffing brush. It didn't have to be the Bud Shop, but it is my favorite foundation brush. So with that, I like to start buffing this in. And why I love this is because it is a very light formula and a light to medium coverage, which I like. Like I have completely skipped the high coverage nowadays. I don't like it at all. I absolutely hate having cakey face and I hate when the foundation like lays in like all of the crevices of your skin and I just hate the feeling of full coverage. Um, not saying that all full coverage foundations I don't like but I prefer a foundation that I can build up if I need to. Me too. <laughs> it blends into your skin so well and it has this like very almost like serum like texture and therefore it doesn't look like foundation it just looks like skin it has a very like pearly glowy finish and therefore also it just looks like my skin but better here is without and not that i have a lot of like uh, pimples or anything, but I do have quite a lot of discoloration um, And here is which is a very very thin layer of the foundation as you guys can see the glow just makes the skin look flawless 
And I personally don't like to set this foundation because I feel like it sets um, on its own very beautifully. And I would rather have a foundation on that I can work with throughout the day than set it completely and when it moves, I can't do anything about it. All I have to do is like take all of it off. It works on any skin tone and skin type. <laughs> I always mess those up. So let's do this part as well. And let's do where the eyebrows should be. <laughs> so there we have the foundation done. It doesn't look oily. It doesn't feel oily but it looks very hydrated, it looks glowy, it feels moisturizing and glowy without feeling sticky in any way. What else is there to say about this foundation? I'm so glad that this is now available in 40 shades. I'm really happy that I can show you guys a dark shade like this and not only with one undertone. I just before this swatched every single one of these shades and I just wanted to see if they act the same like the one that I use. And they do. They look so, so beautiful. So yeah, let me show you guys with the uh, daylight as well. So here we have the skin in daylight. I just love daylight. I hope that someday I can find a apartment. Although this is kind of annoying that it just went cloudy. <laughs> but hopefully I can get like daylight in my videos one day in uh, another apartment. But here is the skin. As you guys can see, it's so, so beautiful. It just looks like skin. I would really recommend you guys that are still in the full coverage era era. I don't know if it is the makeup artist in me that just likes the look of skin but it's just not pretty with full coverage. Oh, I said it, I'm sorry. But this is just the perfect um, coverage. It makes your skin shine through and it's just so pretty. Now let's get back. So now we have the foundation done and I just received their new vitamin C concealer. So I felt like it would be fun. God, my ring light just uh, crashed on me, so that's great. Uh, yeah, that's right. I just received the Body Shop's new Vitamin C Concealer, and I felt like it would be fun to try that out in this video as well. So we have 20 shades, which is also amazing. So here we have the Vitamin C Concealer in Fair 1 Neutral and Rich 1 Neutral. So the lightest and the darkest. Fair 1 Warm sounds... Like something I could go for. It looks and feels very light. I'm gonna use a sponge. It is a, a light, light coverage. It is very brightening though. Do -de -do, do -de -do. I'm gonna go in with a second layer just to see if I can build up this concealer. And there we have two layers of the concealer. Really, really pretty. Obviously, as this is a first impression, I will have to try it out more. First impression, I like it. It's very pretty. So there we have the foundation and concealer done. Now I am going to do the rest of my makeup and uh, see you guys in one second for the final look. And there we have the finished look, looking gorgeous. Am I right? Am I right? I did a quite a natural look so you guys can see the skin more clearly. And the base, I've only set the um, under eyes with some powder and the skin underneath my brows. <laughs> but other than that, uh, oh yeah, a little bit of blush as well and a little bit of highlight on my nose I do have, but here. You guys can see the skin completely unset and untouched and it just looks so pretty. So with that, I really hope you guys have enjoyed and I haven't bored you. Uh, it felt a bit weird talking about just one product for an entire video, 
but this foundation deserves it. It's just one of those foundations that I can always trust. Whether I have a really bad skin day or I'm super dry, I'm super oily, either if I use it with a brush or a sponge or with my fingers, it's always gonna look good. So yeah, that is it. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe and like this video and I hope that we will see each other in the next video. Bye!